Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Niche. This is most likely, I don't know yet, but it's most likely going to be the last episode at least for a while. If I don't make it to the channel biome today, I might make an additional episode, but this is the basic goal today. I want to breed a little bit more and then with our new uh, specialized breed, we're gonna go back into the jungle and see how we're doing. So at the moment we have our two superstars right here, Lazime, and we also have a Tatak here. Both of these guys have favorable genes, in my opinion. Now both of them actually got the stinky tail, that was something I wanted to achieve. Now a Tatak tier has got two claws and she's got uh, two of the runner legs, and preferably I would like one of each. So that is actually also a good combination. Now with her last move we're gonna get pregnant, however we might want to change a couple of these things, because we now have the stinky tail, we don't need it anymore. The antlers aren't the most important part, right? I think what we should have is the warning dots. This is the next trait we're going to need in order to fight against these freaking apes in the jungle. And while we are at it, I also would like to introduce a couple of new colors, not the horn colors. Is there no fur color? Maybe we can introduce red fur back in the joint? Yeah, let's try this out. We're gonna back it up and then we're gonna get pregnant. There we go. Let's see what kind of a baby we're getting. Uh, the fur didn't kick in just yet. We got the combination of the runner leg and the claw, the stinky tail of course is still in there, but we didn't get the warning dots, which is the next goal. So I would assume it's time to pick a couple of berries here. I'm gonna pick two of them, then move into the other nest. Come on. Then I'm gonna take this dude, move over, get pregnant again and it's time to collect some more stuff. As you can see, judging from our food, it's not diminishing, not at all. We can have as many pack members as we want and we will always have a basic task for them. I mean, especially when it rains, this is just crazy how much food we can pick up. You are my explorer at the moment, so we're gonna move you into this territory. I wonder what is within these bushes. Maybe we can smell something? No, not really. Also not here. Our smelling range isn't too far, to be honest with you. But anyway, so uh, let's continue, I would assume. Yeah, and we moved with everybody. Nope, there's this guy still. Gonna move over and find some more shells to crack. Okay, next turn. Oh, look at that. We got the red fur, so that's at least something. We didn't get the warning dots and also it's a sick baby. So you are gonna be another collector, I assume. Can we make it to this mole without him seeing us? I think we are gonna make him turn around first. So we're gonna pick two of that and the acorn and we're gonna move over and kill this guy. Great, then we need to move you out of the way so the mother can pick berries, move over here, get pregnant, you are gonna pick that food. There we go. Yeah, I got a good feeling about this. I think we will get the warning dots very soon and then we can go ahead and pay the jungle biome another visit. Oh, I cannot wait to pay back these freaking apes. There we go, now we can actually crack two shells, that was totally worth it. And we are through with our moves. Let's see, let's do... Oh, we discovered a new gene, I think. Yellow fur. Okay, nice. So what if we added that, then we can uh, discover yet another color maybe. So that's good. Um, yes, let's continue. And we are gonna check that out. Oh no, we got a predator. That's not too bad. We got some yellow fur in the joint. That's nice. And the warning dots. It's a sick baby though. But still, we managed to get the warning dots at least. Now this carnivore has 15 days left to live and we got uh, Tatak here which has got 7 strength, holy Moses. So maybe we could move over and deal some damage here. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna do 1 damage. Then we're gonna use Tatak here in order to finish it off. There we go. I was a little bit of wasted attack points, but what are you gonna do? Okay, Duke Trovan. I don't want to breed with you, you're going to explore. We got a new baby, as I said, so what we need to do is move over, get pregnant and move into the nest again. You're gonna pick that food and then we should be set. Okay, let me just do all the collecting with the other guys. Okay, there we go. We're good, we're good. We discovered a new gene, the gray fur. Ah, gray would actually be nice. What if we added that, then we can discover yet another color. Blue would be cool, but I don't think I'm gonna get that. 
Okay, let's hope for a good baby. There we go. We got uh, another sick baby, but at least, you know, we, we get the warning dots. We have a reasonable chance. Merami, you are also gonna move up north. You are going to replace a couple of the workers in the north. Okay, now we gotta repair this nest. Can we do this? Yes. We're going to collect two food. Move over here and you get her pregnant again. Okay, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Oh no, he took a little bit of damage. What are you gonna do? You need to collect and collect. I'm actually thinking of it. We need to replace the guy that is camping at the tree. I'm gonna do that soon. Oh, we ran into another carnivore, but I think we should be able to take him out using three hits, you know? Oh, actually just one. He was already damaged. Even better. Okay, give me a good baby. Give me the perfect baby. We got that. We got same immunity genes again. What's up with my immunity genes? Very bad luck so far. However, we're not gonna give up. We're gonna get pregnant until we get the baby I want. Oh, oh, we can take out another mole. Yes. Wow, look at all these shells. It's kind of crazy. I'm gonna crack all of them. Okay, next baby. Oh man, it achieved nothing. No warning dots, no immunity genes. These are quite disappointing parents, I have to say. It has to be said. We got yet another baby. This time it's not sick, so at least we could use it in order to keep the line going. And it's called Duk Duk Duk. <laughs> Duk Duk Duk. That's the best name ever. Okay, let's pick some berries. Move over. Come on. We get pregnant again. And if we get a, a boy with the same genes, we can just uh, continue the line with Duk 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 and whatever mate he will get. We got another male, Kirota. I think both of those guys are actually identical. Twins, so to speak. Sissy. Okay, she is sick, not usable. Okay, finally, we also got a girl with the warning dots and the immunity genes. That means we are at least one step closer if we, for instance, used uh, Kirota in order to breed with her. So I think Duk 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 is unfortunately already too old. What are you gonna do? So I think I'm just gonna move him west. Then you are not usable. You are also sick. We're gonna move up. You are going to collect as usual. And now I think I'm gonna take out this guy. And do we want to get pregnant again? I think so. Get pregnant and then Sila is our perfect girl at the moment. She would be ready for the freaking jungle biome. She's got the stinky tail, she's got the warning dots and what else was it that we needed? Hmm, I'm not so sure. Let's actually have a look here. Maybe it was the Velvet Paw, to be honest with you. So the Velvet Paw got three stealth and one collecting. But that's something we could try to achieve on the jungle biome as well. We don't have to wait. All I need is a good boy right now. Let's see if we can achieve that. Please be a boy, no, a girl, and also sick. Oh, Sila, I hope we're gonna find a mate for you. Let's fast forward to this point. Oh, geez, we got a carnivore here, but we can easily take care of him. Oh my gosh, my guys are so strong. You are amazing. Okay, this is actually our last day because this guy is going to die very soon. And if we do not get lucky, then we just have to breed with these two guys. I mean, Sila is almost ready to breed, actually. So at least we're gonna be one step closer, you know, having the warning dots already in our gene pool. However, it wasn't hard, it wasn't hard. We had to pop out like 15 babies or so. It's crazy. Let's have a look at the tree. Yeah, no, check this out. This is just insane. <laughs> We have almost reached a thousand food, actually. This is insane. Good. Last chance. Last chance for the perfect uh, baby boy. No, it's sick. Sick is not perfect at all. And now our alpha mate has died. That's too unfortunate. Is Sila already an adult? Okay, we can continue breeding with her. Uh, she's an alpha with the blue color. And in this case, Kirota, you're going to be her mate. So we're gonna switch you up to blue as well. So we are know you are extremely valuable. Okay, let's get pregnant. Uh, you are gonna make her pregnant first of all. Then we're gonna move up, maybe collect some stuff. And you are gonna move into the nest. There we go. Okay, we, we got this under control. Everything is under control. We got another guy that we need to replace over there because he passed away. Yeah, we have a lot of deaths recently. Good thing we popped out all of these babies, I would say. Good, so uh, now, warning dots are still a thing, right? But we also wanted the velvet paw in the joint. So now we're gonna lose, what, one speed if we do that. We're gonna gain a little bit of stealth. You know, stealth is gonna be important in the jungle, so I'm just gonna add that to the mix. Though I think you have to actually do that before breeding. I'm not sure. Oh, look at that! He's got the velvet paw, but 
Now, we actually want to get rid of the runner lag, right? Though, not necessarily. How much attack do you have? Still three attack. I mean, if we team up on somebody, then we could still take care of us. You know, we could even have two Velvet Paws, for instance. But uh, Kuvan is already a good candidate to continue breathing, or maybe to go onto the jungle island. Yeah, we could do that. Where is uh, the exit? Right here. This is where we would need to go. Yeah, you know what, guys? I think we're gonna have an additional episode to wrap it up. You know, one entire jungle episode, probably. Uh, hold the phone. Kirata, you are no alpha anymore because you're too old. We're gonna use you to collect some more stuff before we make our way to the jungle biome. Okay, now let's see. Why can I not move you? Sila, you're the female. What are you doing here in the nest? Ah, okay, you need to move away. There we go. And now this baby is still not ready to move because we didn't move the mother. That's unfortunate. Who is the father? Oh, Kirota was actually the father. I see. I see. <laughs> oh, we're gonna reach the 1000 food threshold. Come on, a little bit more. Yes, over 1000 food. I would say we made it quite far. Okay, let's see. I think a couple of guys are gonna die off. Yeah. The woman that bred all of our siblings has passed away. Okay, now you need to move back to your lovely wife. Sila, you're gonna move over. We need to breed desperately. We need more perfect babies. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Okay, we got the warning dots. Two claws. That's not good. Yeah, maybe to be honest with you, we want to get rid of the claws again. Just have two velvet paws in the joint. They give me one collecting, so as long as we have a velvet paw, we should be good. So, Kuvan. Oh, please, we're gonna need a girl for you very soon. Oh no, and I messed this up again. Sila is not within a nest. Can I build a nest beneath her? No. Ah, that hurts. Who the heck are you? Lara. Oh, wow, very bad genes, very bad. Can I scratch you? Oh no, she's got a spiky body. I'm such an idiot. Okay, we still have 11 days. So don't worry, Nathan. Still 11 days. We're gonna move over here and we are not gonna lick her. We're gonna kill her. There we go. <laughs> Intruders! And uh, we got a girl with two claws. She must be badass in terms of damage, but otherwise unusable. So we're gonna pick some berries, fix the nest, move over, get pregnant, collect berries and try again. Okay, this is kind of a bummer, but I think we have to backtrack a little bit. We're gonna continue breeding with Razeri, no, Rarezi, and with Takir. Both of those guys have not the worst genes. We do not have the dots anymore. How many days do we have left? Just three days left to breed. I don't think that's enough time in order to get a better combination, but, you know, we can still try. We're going to repair the nest, maybe collect some stuff, move over, get pregnant. And then we shall see if we can get an even uh, better combination. Kuvan, uh, by now, is unfortunately too old to breed, so I think we're just gonna utilize him in order to collect more stuff. But there we go. Let's check out this baby. It's a girl, and she's sick. We still have one breeding day, I think. Or maybe even two, if we are lucky. Let's check this out. Oh, please be something nice. No, another sick bastard. And this was Kirota's last day. Let's actually see. Sila still has a couple of days left, so we can potentially pump out one more baby. That's better than nothing, you know? And we got uh, Duk Duk. It's not the son of Duk Duk Duk. But yeah, Duk Duk is also, you know, not very usable. So now we got Rarezi with two claws, the claws we want to get rid of, and the runner legs as well. So we're back to basics. We're even worse off than in the beginning. No, actually not. We got the stinky tail for sure. All we need are the velvet paws and the warning dots. And I think I'm gonna achieve that off camera and then we're gonna have one additional episode in the jungle biome. But until then, I thank you very much for watching. Have a great time and hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.